What is up all you try hard gamers? I'm coming back at you with another seven days to die tutorial and I wanted to show you something really awesome. So uh, I played this game in 2013 and have been playing it sporadically throughout the years and have, have been just overjoyed to see how well it's developed. And there was one aspect of the game that I really, really wanted to dive into, but it was just never viable, which is the stealth option. Now, we're going to go through go through here, and I'm going to show you how viable stealth is uh, at this point. So, I'm going to try and find, I believe, the cafeteria. Now, normally, when you, you would run into to the cafeteria here, you're going to have a crap ton of zombies drop from the ceiling. Uh, but we're going to see if we can take them out fully stealth with the sniper rifle and see how well that works. Now, we see one right there, right? Well, um, the way it was before is as soon as you jumped into a room, they were almost scripted to come after you, no matter whether you were stealth or not. That does not seem to be the case anymore. Let's fire at this guy and see if they jump down. Look at that. Look at that. Stealth is completely viable now. Obviously, it has its its uses. Um, I enjoy playing the game like this. A Blood Horde, it's not gonna, you know, it's it's not, or Blood Moon Horde, it's not gonna work because they automatically hone in on your position. Uh, but when you're just out roaming, raiding POIs, um, you know, trying to get supplies, you can clear entire buildings completely stealth now, which is really cool. Now here in a minute, I'm going to go over um, what you need to be viable as far as the stealth, stealth option is concerned. But right now, look at this. Look how close I am to the zombie. Okay, so if this was, I don't know, a couple alphas ago, if I remember correctly, um, this zombie would have already aggroed me. Now see, this one's, this one's awake, right? But doesn't see me from this distance. How amazing is that? Stealth is completely viable now. Look at this. <laughs> He's like right in front of my face. Okay, so let's look at some of the stuff that you're going to need. Um, I am obviously running a sniper rifle, but um, I've not tried it with melee. I imagine you probably could. I don't know how viable it is with, with melee. I'm not exactly sure. I've not tried that yet, but you guys might want to give that a, um, a go and see if it'll it'll work or not. Uh, let's go into the talents. 
So the one that you want, at least for my build, um, is where's that? Right here. You want to get all seven of these. Um, and the reason why is that down here at the bottom, you can craft a ghillie suit, which reduces your your visibility. Um, now, from what I've seen as far as tests uh, and a bunch of YouTube videos, is that it makes a little bit of a difference, but not an insane insane difference. So what I did was I stacked the ghillie suit with padded armor, and the reason why is that padded armor has a zero percent noise increase. Now, it goes without saying you could you could get away probably with military armor. Um, and just put the advanced noise reducing mods on them to get it down to zero. That may be one way that you would want to do it. Um, but that's an, I mean, again, that's an option as well. So the other thing that you're going to want uh, for this build are all five and hidden strike and from the shadows. Um, so it, let's see, at five here, it says you are now the ultimate assassin and can deal a maximum sneak damage to your victims. Sneak attacks deal an extra 250% damage. As well as from the shadows, which is going to be the big thing. It's going to help you stay um, hidden from the zombies. Uh, here at, at, at level 5 here, hide in the shadows 65% more effectively. Noises from actions are muffled 50% and sneak movement is 50% faster. Enemies will search for you up to tw for up to 20 seconds. So this is a big, big deal here. You definitely want um, five of each of those two on top of the ghillie suit, um, as well as a silencer on your weapon. That's going to be a big deal. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you on the flip side.